Hey guys, and welcome back. My name's NG, uh, my name's NG Paradox, and welcome back to our Dragovich Let's Play. Now, last time we left off, uh, our Emperor Dobberschlau, he had to deal with a ridiculous number of wars, which as you can see, have less than a bit stressed. And at the moment, we only have 20,000 men. Our enemies, Frankia and Lombardy, they have many soldiers, so we really need to be careful. We also have factions starting to appear in our realm. We really need to be careful now. Even though there's so many opportunities right now for us to expand, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. Now, next, we definitely want to go for Bohemia. That's what I've decided to go for. We're going to subjugate Bohemia under us, bring in all the Slavic people. And then the only Slavic place that's left is Croatia. But we'll see. Um, one of your prisoners. Surely a show of mercy would please your vassals. Hmm, interesting. Well, what type of man am I again? I'm uh, cynical. I am rough, but I am gregarious. That means I'm very socially competent. Hmm, how about you, High Chief Roman? Well, I do like you. Well, he likes me, sorry. Craven, he's a kind man, but he is deceitful. But he is a member of my family, Chief Roman the Old. <laughs> and he is a uh, Wallachia. I think he, yeah, he has quite a lot of soldiers. Look at that. He actually has quite a lot of soldiers. Diplomatic explain why I cannot. Okay, I'm going to go with that one because obviously I am a uh, gregarious. So if I know I can do that, that's fine. Okay, perfect. But yeah. Definitely go for this next, but I don't want to go to war with them right now. I do just want to gain up my men, bring get some more soldiers and try to subjugate our lands. Make sure we're not invaded. You know, we're almost at the end of this series. We're going to have to finish off this series just because of Horse Lords. And hopefully in Horse Lords I can actually find time to play it more. Prince Odon. You're pretty good at everything, but you're really good at learning. Okay. How about we get you some good at learning? Now, she's pretty good actually at quite a few things, but she is a genius. Huh. She's probably the best option there overall. Okay, yeah, we'll go with her. Perfect. How are those factions? 83%. That's so just, it's just bloody frustrating. All these people just, they just want independence. After all we've done for them, we're all the same faith. Why did they hate me so? They don't even hate me. That's the real problem here. Look. They don't even... Except for you, obviously. Of course you hate me. Oh. Medium crown authority desires the kingdom of Belarus. What? You desire the kingdom of Belarus? His ambition actually is really what makes him minus. Yeah, that's really the big problem here. Of course he wants the kingdom of Belarus. It's a much bigger kingdom. How big is actually our kingdom of Belarus? Yeah, look at that. Now, that is what I call a kingdom. That's what I call a kingdom. Now, how is uh, how's the Lithuania kingdom? Yeah. Yeah, there's not much. <laughs> That's the kingdom right now. But, uh... I can change the name of uh, Lithuania. I can change the name of his titles. I could call it... Uh, Dump or something. Kingdom of the Dump. But yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's a thought, though. I could change some titles. You know what? Dobberschlau has been quite great. Maybe we should change our county. We should change our capital to his name. What is our capital? Kavuna. How about we change the name of this place? We could call it... Karslaw. Dobby Vuna. <laughs> Dobby Vuna. Okay, I, I I don't know. Yeah, probably won't actually do that. Let's keep it as it is. Other than that, it's like the Teutonic Order has gone to war. Slavic uprising. Yes, go the Slavics. Four thousand men. How many men do they have? Twenty-three thousand men. Okay, they got a load of men back. Jesus, wasn't that long ago he didn't have many men. That's very upsetting. Um, let's go for, we don't, I don't think we have many, actually we're starting to get more and more cavalry I've noticed recently. Let's go for cavalry then. It's still only 21,000 here. Go for the Kingdom of Rus, which we don't really want. It's, I don't want any more, I don't want any more tribal lands. Oh wait, these guys have, 
They've all built up. What? How have you done this? You're Slavic. Ah. Well, it looks as though the Russ have gone to Slavics. When did this happen? Yeah, they've all built up. Okay, these guys are still tribal. A few of them. Perm. Well, they've also built... Ooh. No one told me about this. How did you guys build this up? The king of Perm. Pagan. You're pagan. How did you build all this stuff up? How did you do this? How did they do this? I have no idea. It's not def it's definitely not reformed. It must have been someone in the past. Maybe they were Christians? No, there were no Christians that took over Perm, were there? Must have been some Slavics. Huh. That's weird. Or did they change it? Did they change the rules in a, an update I didn't realise? King of Perm's actually over here. His lands are actually still tribal. Okay, it looks as though he took over some lands that got developed. Okay. That's just slightly confusing. Okay, but Russ actually could be for the taken. Only 3,000 men. That'd be nice. We'd also join up our lands here. I think that's a definite one to go for. I thought we did have uh, Cassie... B Damn it. The Cassie Billy's gone. That's, that's okay, though. It's nice to know the Slavic faith has spread. So the Slavic faith has, like, basically spread all the way up here. Some Manusco is basically gone. They were Germanic. Okay, there was some Catholics up here. Okay, there must have been a, a ruler from one of the... Gem the Scandinavians, when they took over this, one of them must have been Christian, and he updated them all or something. I'm, I have no idea. That's really... I did not notice that. It's good to know, though. I mean, it is 1,100. I said before, I want to get to, like, 1,200 before I update this to the uh, Horse Lords. That'd be perfect. I don't see any more rebels. Paulisian Uprising. In Serbia. Okay. Two titles. The factions are gone. That's great. And our son. Ooh. Our son actually did pretty well. Prince Bogomil. I mean, he is a homosexual. I might make some problems when he has kids. But, you know, he's ambitious, just, a cruel, cynical, charitable, flanker. I, he's actually done quite well. Good job, Bogomil. Good job. Hmm. He surprised me. Unlanded son. Could give him some land, but I don't really need to. Unmarried heir. We probably should look to marry you off. Should I uh, have a look through here? We could marry them to Russ. Give us, give us a nice ally. He's a daughter that's 10 years old. We could marry him to her. She's the only daughter. He's a very old sister. I like that he's Slavic. His father was not Slavic, so he actually converted to being Slavic. How did that happen? When, when did you convert to being Slavic? But his heir is not Slavic, so we're going to have to try and get involved in that. Maybe we'll be guided. Maybe one of the other sons will marry to her. We'll look at that later. My main son there, maybe we need something a bit more concrete. Denmark, 3,000 men. Norway does have 6,000 men. How about Croatia? 13,000 men. Wow. Okay, if only you had a daughter. Your son has sons. Your other son has a daughter. She's one years old. Damn it. Okay, so that's definitely not an option. Okay, maybe no one else we really want. No. Okay, let's have a look then. Let's go with someone with some nice traits. There we go. We have one with attractive. You know, recently, we've not had any really good trait people in our family. We need to change that. Um, should give us some land, but that's not really that important. You have good sultanate. Uh, King Maizgo, the unready. So that gives us a nice ally in Pomerania. Help one of our vassals, I guess. It is one of our stronger ma vassals. So it probably would be a good idea to marry into one of our vassals, I guess. I wouldn't mind some nice trait. They're the genius, 16 years old. Ooh, perfect. 
High Chief of Moron. So that's also one of our uh, vassals. Let's have a quick look at the stats then. See if we can find any good traits. She looks like a good choice though. Genius, a daughter of one of our vassals. A genius here. She's got pretty good overall, but she's Danish. Yeah, it gives us only a chief. You're also a genius of Plotsk. Just a chief though. Look at those stats though. Wow. For a 15 year old, that's pretty good stats. I must admit. Yeah, just chiefs so far. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't then. Those are just chiefs. We kind of want a good alliance as well. Yeah, that's that own. And then that. Weak, of course not. The genius uh, Danish girl here. Ah. Oh well. Learning. Yeah, maybe we should go for that first girl we found. I don't know where she is now. She was on the first page, but we can't go back to that on this. Um, yeah, that was the lured. Oh, it's a different Danish one. Okay, there's two Danish ones, yeah. <laughs> okay, he has, two, he has two genius daughters. Wow. That's pretty... Oh, it's this one, yes. Hi, Chief Moran. Oops. I kind of want to... Uh, of Moran. Damn it! I didn't mean... Oh, God damn it. I didn't mean to actually click on that. Now, where is Moran? I don't remember which one's Moran. Is it this one? No. Okay, let's just go back to that. It was on the first page. It's not hard to find. It's me being dumb. Attractive, yeah, genius. We wanted that. I always click the wrong thing. I'm so not used to doing this. Okay, Moran. Oh! Okay, so he's the guy up here. Okay, in the Kingdom of Russ. Huh. And it's actually his sister. Weak claim on the Kingdom of Russ. But she has a claim on the Russ as well. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. She has a claim on Russ, which is what I wanted. And also, she's a genius. I see no reason not to marry her. Yeah, let's marry her. Arrange marriage. They're the perfect age. They go perfectly well together. She's a genius. I think it fits. That's a good marriage. So that will bring her to my court now. And if ever there's a war, or maybe there's a girl or a young boy in charge of us, we can go and attack it for them. My own, well, my son, and he'll be king, so he's always going to have that claim as well. So that's excellent. Okay. Still just 14,000 men. We need to do some, like, a... Uh, we need to have, like, a festival. What date is it? November. Always got to... I'm always late for the damn festivals. 3,000 men. I could just declare war. But I'm just worried about Frank here. They have 31,000 men. There's a new young emperor, Emperor Guaslin. He's charitable, kind, patient, and gregarious. Okay, seems like a good guy. He likes us a little bit as well, only six. But he has no claims. So the only way for him to really get claims is he'll probably attack me because of holy wars and whatnot. So yeah, that's probably what he wants. Also, the Lombardies have like 31,000 men as well. Um, du jour war. Okay, that's nice. One of my vassals actually doing a du jour war. That's good to see. Good job. She's a Dragovich. Of course she knows what she's doing. My other son, Budzewudz. Uh, he is ugly. Poor boy. Let's make you a good fighter then. Actually, yeah, maybe he is the best choice. Possibly. Yeah, overall, he's pretty good compared to this guy. Yeah. Okay, your brother's going to train you. But yeah. No, our son turned out pretty well. He turned out better than me, overall, I think. Yeah, overall, I'd say he's better than me. You, you scurvy dog. You did a good job. Let's increase the speed, because we wouldn't need time to be going much faster than this. I could easily destroy Bohemia. So this man, who I did marry off to one of my daughters. Actually, you know what? Let's wait the four years. Let's wait the four years for them to get married and then it's done. Then he can't get out of the betrothal. And it can be done. 
Okay, here we go. It's exactly what I was expecting. Frankie has decided to declare war. Of course they did. What for? Holy War? Third French Holy War for Armenia. Ah, <laughs> uh, and he has so many troops. Okay, luckily though, my men are in support of me. You know what? We're going to declare war on Bohemia at the same time because it's such... She has so few men. So I'm going to declare war on Bohemia as well. Just because we might as well. Okay, let's call upon our men. Hopefully I can also get the Warriors of Perun. Yep, they're not out. We have a load of pieties. Let's hire them. Perfect. We've also got the Warriors of Perun. Excellent. That should give us the advantage actually here. So actually in this situation, I think we actually have more men. So that's quite nice. Normally we have less men. So we've actually been able to... We can really get a lot of men actually now I think about it. We have like 40,000 men. How many men do you have after you declared war? Maybe he managed to get some men. 33? No, I think we're above you then. Okay, excellent. Okay. How about... You guys all go for Bohemia. We'll take out Bohemia first. Actually, how about we just go there? Everyone just go here. Uh, you guys up north, though, you will all head off to Germany. Because we need as many men to get as possible to begin with and defend the lands. The other guys, though, will take care of... Uh... Oh, that one's already going. Okay, none over here. Excellent. Okay, I think our plans are looking really good right now. Okay. We should probably lower the speed. Ah. Russ has decided to join me in my holy war. Thank you, thank you. We must we must all work together to fight off these these heathens. As a German revolt, actually. That's a, a very small German revolt, but still it's better than nothing. Uh, you should probably just stay here. Did I move you guys as well? If those guys are moving up there, maybe you are moving up there as well. Come on, bloody Iron Man. I I complained about it so much in this season in this uh series, but it's just so true. It's just I don't like it. Really don't. Okay, looks like she called uh Croatia into her war. Which is actually quite bad, because he actually does have a lot of men. Oh no, he doesn't know he has three thousand. I thought he had seven thousand. Uh we should be able to defeat them quite easily then. We'll just go straight for Bohemia, take them out. Be done with it. Hopefully I won't even have to fight Croatia. Okay, we've almost got our men together over here in Germany. They don't have enough to obviously defeat Frank here, but we can probably cause a bit of damage here. We have men right there in plains. And I don't think there's any river. Nope, no river. Excellent. Okay, what we'll do, we're just going to go straight to attack them. Let's get our main army out here, because this is the big one. This, they've got to defend against Frankia. We need our best men. My son, your flanker, and your flanker, so you guys don't go in the center. How about then... I, I, I could lead the center. This guy, though, seems like the best choice. He has 18, but being slow, would that affect it? We'll see. Modifiers. Pursuit, more defense, defense... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, he seems fine. Uh, Vladimir, and also my son, Bogomil. Son, don't you dare die. <laughs> I'll be very upset. Okay, yep. Yeah. And those guys are almost there. So we'll just send them in as well. He's collected a load of... Wow, we have so much money as well. Okay, now you guys go in and just help out. He does not have enough men anywhere near around him to help. Uh, Brunswick is helping out. The Teutonic Order. No, Knights Templar. Prince of Francia. Ooh, he's a Prince of Francia. Okay. We've got some men there. Pomer what are you doing, Pomerania? What are you doing? Um, attacking Count blah 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 in Dijon War over Skidrevel of Ford. Is that this one? No. Where's Skidford? Why is he attacking? Where does he have de jure places? I guess he's helping someone else, probably. Ah, uh, the Queen of Pannonia. Okay, he's helping down here. Ah, okay. 
Interesting.